You're watching KDCG, uniquely Acadiana, a Delta Media Station. Right here, right now, it's LA South. I'm Pamela Kay, and on today's show, it's all about kids. Yes, who cares about kids? Kai cares. And that's Kyrus Abair from Eunice. And you know him. He was a former NFL player, a Canadian football VIP. He's got something for you special with Kai Cares, and we're going to get a sneak preview of the new Swamp and Roll show. guest with me in studio today, oh my goodness, I have a list because there is so much to say. Eunice High, Raging Cajun, NFL, Canadian Football League, all around VIP, and most importantly, spokesperson for Kai Cares, Mr. Kyrus Abair. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, I am so excited that you're here. And listen, I've actually got to read this. It is part of the mission statement for Kai Cares, and it says, um, Something along the line of the relentless pursuit in the face of adversity so circumstances do not dictate the outcome of our destination. Tell me about that message and why that's important to you. Well, a lot of our young people, they're not very in touch with the fact that where we come from doesn't always dictate where we go. So to fall victim of circumstance, it's exactly that, it's to be a victim of that. Don't be a victim. Understand that where you come from is not going to determine, it's not going to be the determining factor of where it is that you go. So, out, despite circumstance, find your way in a good, to a good place by being focused on your goals, standards, and being relentless towards attaining those short-term goals until you get to your long-term goals. How relevant is that message, not just nationwide to young people, but especially to people right here in Acadiana? Well, I know coming from Eunice, there's so many people that live at and are below the poverty line. And those kids are, those are the ones that I try to reach with that message, even though those aren't the only kids that we speak to, because sometimes people come from a place where they have a, a good place and their circumstances aren't that bad, but they at times have a sense of entitlement. So you want those kids to understand that their goals are just as important as someone who comes from a bad place, that they have to have their own, they're responsible for their own path and what it is that they become. They're not entitled to what the people before them have, they've earned it, not them. So set your own path and get to your own destination. That's a powerful message. Now let's talk about Kai Cares now. It's a camp, but it offers different things for different types of students. Yeah, well, Kai Cares, the foundation itself, has been set to reach young people across the board, and that's been through our motivation inspirational tour, which we call the Kai Cares Empowerment and Speaking Tour. So there we speak to young people of the importance of education, discipline, respect, the leading goal-oriented lives, setting higher standards for themselves, not being victim of circumstance. And as we said before, those kids that come from a place of privilege, to understand that the privilege is to be there now, but where you go is going to be determined on your your acts and your work ethic. So to reach kids across the board, that is our overall mission and to give back to the community, not only from a monetary standpoint, but from time, energies and efforts in the school system, churches, and wherever else we may be welcome. And you are reaching these kids, not just you individually, but a group of all-stars. Now who are the all-star lineup that you've got with you this year? Well, we're gonna actually do a tour, on a speaking tour, we're gonna bring the sideline pros, which are a group of pro cheerleaders and dancers from all around the NFL and NBA. So they'll go on the tour and Cupid, Mr. Cupid Shuffle himself, he's going to actually visit a few schools, schools with us as well. So very proud to have him on board. And our Celebrity Weekend, the Acadiana All-Star Weekend, I partnered with Roman Harper from the Saints and we have special guests from the area and also around the NFL such as um, Roman Harper, Darren Sharper, Terrell Owens, Kevin Falk is our, a good guest of ours this year. We're excited to have him. And last but not least, and most importantly, to stay at home, we have Debra Henderson is going to be with us as well, uh, and a long list of other guys. Like it's 30 of us, so I don't want to 
have to go through the whole list. Well, sure, all VIPs, and these people are volunteering their time. These celebrities, not just people, these celebrities, they're volunteering their time. So they're going to give autographs, they're going to pose with pictures, they're going to throw some footballs, obviously. Yes, they're going to actually work hands-on with the kids. Um, we have a mo multiple events at the Kai Cares Acadiana All-Star Weekend, which is partnered with Roman Harper's Foundation, which is Harper's Hope 4-1. So we have the football cheer and dance camp. We have a celebrity basketball game in which the kids, the young ladies from the cheer and dance camp will have an opportunity to perform pregame and halftime at the celebrity game where the NFL players will be going up against local celebs as well. So they have that going on. But then at the football camp, the young men or young ladies who may choose to play football, they have an opportunity to get hands-on tutelage from the players. And not only just work with them on football, but speak to them about life skills and being the best young people that they can be. Well, I want to encourage everyone to be a part of Kai Cares. Tell them how they can be a part. Well, right now you can reach us on Facebook at Kai Cares Foundation. And um, our new website will be up and going very soon. We partner with Harper's Hope for One, and we're going to do a site in conjunction. And all information about the Acadiana All-Star Weekend will be listed there. The Acadian All-Star Weekend will also have a gala, which is something that we're very excited about at the Acadiana Center for the Arts, where there'll be food tasting, live music, and all of your favorite celebs from the Saints, NFL, and NBA with the pro dancers will all be there to meet and greet people from the community and those that are sponsoring kids. Every ticket sold for the Acadiana All-Star Kickoff Gala actually sponsors a child to go to camp the same day. Well, so tickets will only be $65. <laughs> only. Only $65, <laughs> and it sponsors a child, and it gives you an opportunity to be a part of something special. Well, your former Bengals coach said that you were a high-impact guy, and indeed you are making an impact on our kids here in Acadiana. I'm excited to have Lori Keels with me today. She has a special event for all my hunters and shooters out there today. Lori, tell me about your event. Yes, Pam, thanks for having me on the show today. I'm so excited to be able to share this information with the community. It's our 14th annual Shoot for a Cure event, a sporting clay event, and the proceeds support the Louisiana Hemophilia Foundation programs, and we serve the bleeding disorder community of Louisiana. Now, this is a, a great event. Now, mm -hmm. talk, before we talk about the event, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about hemophilia for people who don't understand the disease. Right. Hemophilia is a, a bleeding disorder. Um, it, it comes with different severities. Some, um, some just don't clot quite enough, and some are very severe and don't clot at all and in which case then they would need a lot of medication which is very expensive runs between three hundred thousand and a million dollars a year wow. for the medication depending on what your severity level is um, they also the people that have hemophilia would tend to stay in a hospital longer because they have to make sure all of the bleeding has stopped or they bleed internally people think of it as somebody's bleeding outwardly but not necessarily not so much more than we would bleed but they bleed into their joints which causes joint damage they end up with crippling effects to all of their major joints um, shoulders, knees, ankles, hips, everything. So they may end up having to have their knees replaced. But the good news is there, it, there's not a cure, so that's the bad news, but the good news is they can treat it prophylactically, which means they can prevent these crippling side effects. So I actually said disease, but it's a disorder. It's, it's a disorder, so right. There, there's a lot of research going on, but so far no luck on the cure. We're working our way that direction though, but lots of good things have come in the, sen in the sense of being able to treat the disease with the clotting factor, but then again it's very expensive too, so they end up needing services from us to help with the things that they can't afford to pay for to get through their lives. And what you're doing is such a, a great event because it does help raise these needed That's funds right. mm -hmm. and you have so many people that are skilled shooters in That's the area right. that help participate now there have been changes each year mm -hmm. to this <laughs> event and we're laughing tell me some of the changes that have made this event better each year okay well at first we used to hold it at another location which was kind of a straight up straight down location you could see all the stands from but when you pulled in the driveway there were really hardly any trees it was not a pretty place then we moved over to Riverside Sporting Clays, which is a private club, so it's highly desired. You can't go there unless you are a member or you're part of a tournament. VIP. Via, that's right. And it's in the woods on many, many acres, so they're literally, literally shooting over ponds 
et cetera. It's just really a fantastic place to be. Well, in the meantime, moving from the one place to the smaller place to this place kind of necessitated we need to give them something to haul their equipment around with. Therefore, we went to golf carts, well, the, which we pay for as part of the fee. Well, the first year we did the golf carts, the batteries, we did battery operated carts and we found about by the time the second round started to go out to shoot they were dead and there were flat tires <laughs> and so we had people trying to you know re get the, the cart started again because when they deliver the carts you, they're just yours you have to take you have to get them keep them running <laughs> so then we found another place which was more expensive but we could rely upon them and they're new carts they run on gasoline engines and in fact we don't even have to put gas in them because they come full and they still have gas when we turn them back in so they can use these two people with their two person carts and they can put their guns and all of their equipment in the back and they ride all along the course for the day and not have to worry about where their stuff's at or hauling around because it's hilly and and it would be a lot to do especially in the heat or the humidity and we want them to have a good time That's right. we're going to raise money and tell them how to get in touch with you right. you can contact us by going to our website at www.lahemo.org or call our office at 800 749 1680. And we'll see you there. In case you missed the premiere of the very new Swamp and Roll show, here's a little bit of Pat Richard from Black Gold Casino. <laughs>
time with Vince Nicholson, and besides being a realtor for Keller Williams, he's also selling other things besides real estate. What's going on, Vince? Seven mile yard sale. Oh my Seventh annual. Goodness. Seven for seven. <laughs> That's right. Should be a good year. Now, seven miles is a really long stretch, and you're selling things the whole way? Yes. There's actually mile there's actually yard sales in other parts of the country that go for hundreds of miles. Oh my so. goodness. So do we have a mile marker? Here's mile one, here's mile two. Grand Coteau okay. to Arneville. Through actually sunset to Arneville through Grand Coteau. And and along the way, uh, on the countryside and in the countryside, people will have balloons, you know, noting that they're part of the garage sale. Come to my mile. Is that <laughs> Yeah, come to my house. Now, what, what actually happens? It sounds like, okay, seven miles of stuff, but what kind of stuff is for sale? Uh, antiques, uh, stuff you would find at, you know, you, you pull out of your attic, uh, your old barn, or whatever it is you have that you would typically have a uh, garage sale with. And you're mixing in antiques, too. So if you're pulling yeah. something out that maybe has been back there that Mama had or that you just don't have room for in your house, you can find some really valuable, good stuff at the Seven Mile. There's How many sevens again? Seven Mile Yard Sale. <laughs> seven Mile Yard Sale. There's going to be a lot of bargains, and, you know, you pick up some nice stuff, uh, probably a lot of old farm tools and just antiques and, you know, a to Z. <laughs> oh, and the best part is when you go early, you get the best deals. And you never know, you might end up on one of those TV shows where your $5 item is worth thousands of dollars because you that happens know. too. Yeah, it happens too often. <laughs> well, we want it to happen to you, and you'll miss out unless you go to the Seven Mile Yard Sale. Now, I see a couple of numbers here and um, people to contact. So, so give yeah. me the scoop on those. Um, they're, they're, if you are wanting to set up, in a particular part of the community, uh, Grand Coteau, you can call uh, Sue and Tom at 337-662-2102. And in Sunset, you can call Marvel at 337-331-5577. And in Grand Coteau, you can call Ms. Mavis at 337-754-7724. And the website is www.grandcoteaufoundation.org. Give me a little mention, I guess, about Grand Coteau Foundation. What's the foundation about? Uh, Grand Coteau Foundation, um, they are part of the cultural district. From what this is what this is what I know about. I don't know a whole lot yet, but Me um, either. You either, they but are providing a lot of the funding for our advertising and getting the word out, flyers and sorts. So these people, in addition to Vince, are going to help you get a really great deal. So we hope to see you at the Seven Mile Yard Sale. Thanks for joining me here on LA South. Please like us on Facebook to win all kinds of cool stuff. And you're going to go to Facebook, LA South TV, and you're going to dial on your phone, text 64636. You can do wow, W O W, to win World of Wheel tickets and the word fool, F O O L. Don't be a fool. I don't want to be one. You don't want to be one either. But if you text fool, you can win Kenny Chesney concert tickets. And I want to remind you, who cares about kids? Kai cares, and you can too. Check out a way you can help a kid get to camp. And we'll see you on Monday here on LA South.